So, you guys know how the last banner, not this one, I believe. No, this one was pretty bad. You know, you guys know how I called this banner. I'm pretty sure I called this banner. Probably one of the worst banners of all time. Um, yeah. I think we have a new contender. So, sup my dudes, Valkyr. And today I'm going to be talking about Yelan's banner. It includes the likes of Noel, Barbara, and Yenfei. <laughs> Alright, so... In my defense, right, I do think Noel is a very good character, just at C6, which, but the issue is, is Noel and Barbara specifically were given to us for free, and most players have them C6 by now. I know, because everybody cries whenever Barbara's on a banner, because they're like, I already have her C6, I'm tired of pulling her, and hopefully you guys have Noel C6 as well. So that leaves Yanfei, and Yanfei is actually decent. She's not insane because she is a four-star DPS. Four-star DPS tend to be very, very cope. Um, she is actually decent. I think she can put up really good damage numbers, especially whenever you have her in invested because of stuff like her C2 and then also her uh, Scarlet Seals and the way she plays. She's actually really, really fun to play. If you manage to get her a high constellation and you're just like, eh, I'm bored, give her a shot. She's honestly a fun character to play. I played her a lot whenever she first came out, although the levels don't show it because I didn't want to actually invest in her. I actually thought she was really fun. But I'm not going to sit here and blow smoke up your booty and be like, oh, she's good. She, she's not. There's plenty of better five-star options because four-star DPSs are very cope. So the character banner, like I said, is Yelan, Barbara, Noel, and Yanfei. It's a very copium character banner, and if I pull any four-star at all, then it's basically useless for me. So now I see why they didn't put Kuki Shinobu on that banner because they wanted you to have a reason to pull. That also means all the Shao Wanters, because Shao shares the exact same banner as Yelan, you guys are coping. Like all hell. Like major copium. <laughs> Good luck. <laughs> the, that banner is so rough. And then we get into the weapon banner. The Aqua Simulacra plus the Primordial Jade Wing Spear. And then we get into the... <laughs> we get into the four stars. You guys remember how I said Sacrificial Bow really is not going to be that good on Yelan due to on-field uptime? Well, Sacrificial Bow and Sack Sword are probably the only two notable things outside of this banner. Primordial Jade Wing Spear, why they keep sticking on featured banners, I don't know. It's a literal general banner weapon. You can get it from losing a 50-50. Shocker. That's just how it is. You can get it from losing the 50-50 that you do on the weapon banner. So, I don't really care about them putting Shao's weapon on the weapon banner. I understand why, because, you know, Shao's running. I get it. People are going to be like, but Shao's here. I, I get it. Um, but the Aqua Simulacra, that weapon is going to be pretty good for Yelan, and Yelan specifically. Nobody really else. But Yelan, it's going to be really, really strong for it because she wants HP. That's one of the very, very, very few bow weapons that give HP. So, it's going to be really strong on Yelan. In the end, though, these banners suck. Hopefully, you know, hopefully Yelan's better than her banners because I imagine she will be. Everything said she's going to be really good. I don't know why Hoyo is doing this. I don't know why they made these banners so bad. But these are some of the worst banners I have ever seen. And I feel like I'm saying that every patch now. Maybe we're just in a cycle where all the really, really, really not good four stars are running together. But, well... I can't say not good, because like I said, Noel goes from being really bad to being insane at C6. You really need C6 to make Noel work, but uh, she's not very good before that. And then Barbara is Barbara. All the Barbara fans are going to be like, ah! And then Yenfei, like I said already, is a four-star DPS. While she is very fun to play, she is just, there are so many better options because she's a four-star DPS and lacks a lot of base stats. Anyways... That's the video about this very, very bad banner. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Thank you guys for watching, as always. Now I have an eSports event to go watch. Peace.